Okay, so all the users have been dumped into that database. So now what we can do is we can click on this advanced features, go back to the show user database, and if you notice, we have two different links here. One's fans and one is musicians. And what this means is fans are all profiles that aren't artist profiles and musicians obviously are profiles that are artist profiles and and why we did this is because some users only want to target fans and some users only want to target musicians some businesses make their money by doing things with musicians and and some bands make money by doing stuff with fans so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the fans and this will bring up our database and you can see that the default database right here is uh, is currently selected and there's nobody in here because we didn't save to the default so if you go down here and click on the Jason Mraz comments it will load uh, those users now you'll notice that there's not 99 users and that's because of the 99 users only 50 were fans the others are uh, in the musician database and if you if you wanted to view that you could click on file and switch to musician database and it looks very similar to this or you could get to it by clicking advanced features going down to show user database and clicking on musicians so here's how MLP becomes really efficient let's say that I'm a band that only plays 21 and up shows uh, I wouldn't want to market to people that are 17 18 years old because they couldn't get into my show so I'll, I'll click on this age checkbox and I will say I want to market to people that are 21 all the way up to let's say 45 years old I want both genders there and if I was doing a show in let's say Seattle I could type in Seattle here and Washington um, and that would if I click on this filter that would get everybody from Seattle Washington let's that's 21 to 45 let's let's do that let's filter so of those users zero there's no users that we collected so I'll click on this reset and that'll get us our users back again so what I like to do is I like to click on this last login and we can click on today and then today and what I like to do is I like to see I like to target people that have used MySpace in at least a week so I'll click on this drop down and I'll go back one week to the 24th so this shows me that I want to filter by an age of 21 to 45 I want a last login of last week to this week and I'm gonna filter and that filters out those users you can also search by a name if you want to search by name or you can search by music uh, you could type in Jason Mraz, Howie Day, Dave Matthews Band, whatever you would like to, even concerts, live performances, anything with a comma is an means or. So this means that Jason Mraz or Howie Day or Dave Matthews, any of if any of that is found in their music column, which is right here then it will filter out those people and, and it shows and a lot of people it shows no music found which that, that's okay because we've we've also um, collected from a, an artist that's in a, a similar genre anyway so we know that these users are most likely gonna gonna like us so what you do is once you've filtered out the users here then um, we want to let me reset that real quick filter that. So what we want to do is we want to take all these user IDs and we want to dump them into the list box here. So what we do is we click on load and that shows 27 people. So of those 99 people that we collected, only 27 are the most likely people that are going to either come to our show or be interested in our music or whatever. So I'm going to save this list. Save as Jason Mraz again. Now these are the users we would send a friend request or an email to. So now if you really start to play around with this, collecting lots of users and, and really using your search 
um, functions here, you can really narrow down to the those users, and you're going to find that if you start using this, this uh, if you start using this function more often rather than just spamming um, to 99 users and not knowing who they are, you're going to start finding that these users, you're going to get a high return rate on people requesting uh, you as a friend or accepting your request or downloading your music or whatever it is that you um, are trying to do with your profile.